caught many of us off guard, but Brian Schofield warned us that we might see these pop-up thunderstorms today. Let's check in with him right now. I'll tell you, it would have been a lot heavier had that storm not been as quick. We told you it'd be a quick moving storm. They don't drop a lot of rain. I know that looks like a lot of rain, but it had just happened so quickly. Either way, quarter of an inch or less in most areas. That's still pretty good for a desert, but boy, we could have easily, with a slow storm, seen three quarters of an inch up to an inch, especially with those thunderstorms high overhead. Whew, Manly Bay Cam telling a different story. How beautiful is it now, right? 65 degrees. Uh, we actually uh, got into the 70s, as you saw, because we started off the morning with so much sunshine, you probably thought nothing's going to happen today, but sometimes those things move through pretty quickly. Winds out of the northeast 15, so we've got a pretty good a strong gust. Several areas saw a strong gust to 40, but now we're getting a pretty good breeze out of there as that storm exits 63 degrees. Henderson, spin the wheel. You'll see April. Oh, we see some showers. Oh, yeah. On average, 15 days of measurable rainfall on average through uh, April. So there we go. Take a look. Here's what we're looking at. Satellite radar composite. Watch how that quickly moves through the area and clears the area, but you can see all those little icons in with it. That's uh, lightning. That's small pebble-sized hail. You folks in Summerlin, thank you for sending in the video for that. We love showing that so we can show your neighbors maybe how to stay out of this stuff. I'll tell you, because usually these move through very quickly. Notice if you go out and about, a lot of the roads are clearing out pretty well. Our effective drainage systems across the valley doing pretty well from the Regional Flood Control District. So uh, all of it is just kind of filling up in some of those washes. And obviously that's an area where you don't want to play in. You don't want to have the kids go in those washes at all. Let all of this pass and the roads will clear out really quickly. And you can see there's nothing in behind this so once this gets out through Arizona it's really long gone out of Clark County that's what we're anticipating upcoming weather one out and then we start to warm things up a little bit. It'll be very nice throughout the middle of the week. So mild conditions, look at Wednesday, and then we start to change things up a bit. Another storm comes through, we start to pick up some breeze, jet stream lowers quite a bit, and here's what comes in. Cooler, windier weather, and we might even eke out a shower by the weekend, but we're gonna start off with some stronger winds on Friday. For tonight, not so much. 52 degrees, nice, partly cloudy, so things are long gone by tonight, certainly long gone the next hour. Uh, 73 degrees for tomorrow, so we start to recover with the temperatures. But let me show you the weekend. So we start to ramp up the wind on Friday, maybe even stronger wind on Saturday. Notice we'll usher in some cooler air as well, and that'll be our best shot at maybe getting a shower across the valley with that next storm through. It exits the area, but leading up to it, not much going on. So a fairly benign week leading up to the busy weekend. And then it's next week we see another storm early next week that could actually bring more wind and more cooler air. Back to you, Carla. All right, thanks, Brian.